Well, hello, Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right. All right, Aquarius, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get into your reading. Of course, I'm going to start off with some mood cards and see where you guys are. Okay, mentally, physically, not physically, but I guess more so emotionally. So let's get it. This is for Aquarius. For Aquarius. Okay. Okay. All right. Why? Wow, this is a lot of cards. At the bottom of the deck, choose wisely. Okay, so choices here direction you need to know where to go right you need to know who to choose or if you should be with this person or if you should not be with this person which job you should go to that type of stuff right all right so you had a lot that came out i'm not going to be able to ver like clarify all of this because i was going to clarify some of this base chakra we're talking about sexual uh, energy some of you guys may not have been intimate in a while. You guys, you know, you want love, but I mean, this does talk about your, it's so funny because I was talking about physical, right? So it's still physical things that need to be satisfied here. Some of you guys may be having some issues uh, with that. I mean, it could have been, um, I would say, uh, urinary tract issues for some, but this does to me has something to do with something being out of line, uh, but I feel like that's more so sexual energy. All right, so here with wish fulfillment, you guys will have a wish fulfilled. I love it. You know, it, it's gonna it's patience for some of you guys. Maybe it's already starting to happen, but some of you guys are still waiting here with the patient card, patience card, material and spiritual prosperity. Yes, Aquarius, we can see it's so funny. No matter what reading I do, no matter what cards I have, material prosperity come out in your reading all the time, and I love that. And then here we have hope. So this is the star card. This is your card, Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Let's uh, let's just do it very quickly. Let's just go for it. We're going to clarify the base chakra. Let's see what this is all about for Aquarius. Aquarius. And then we're going to get into the tarot. Okay. Base chakra. Okay, so I do feel like long-term committed relationships, some of you guys have a lot of passion. That's the Ace of Wands. So it does have, you guys are starting a new job. You guys um, are uh, also, yeah, I feel like it's new. It's, it's like maybe a, a new career, something like that. Even if it's not a job, it's, it's maybe your own business. But I see money coming from that. Okay, it's the Ace of Wands, which talks about finances anyway. But this is what I was saying before. You guys also want to be in a committed relationship, too. I, I'm seeing that. You want to be able to express yourself with someone that you could be in a long-term committed relationship uh, with. This is victory energy overall. Okay, here with the Ace of Swords. Let's get the fulfillment and wishes. Okay, fulfillment and wishes. This is, again, coming out with the Queen of Pentacles. This does have something to do with finances and commitment, okay? I, this came out too, so I do feel like you guys have been feeling defeated um, in the past when it comes down to money, when it comes down to a relationship, but you're going to get what you want here. This is two and one. The Queen of Pentacles always is like two and one to me, okay? And then also you have the Empress. Money, finances, comfortability is on point in this reading. Let's go ahead, let's get the patient, Patience card for Aquarius. Patience. Ooh, so some of this does have something to do with finances again, but this also has something to do with, you know, coming together, working with people, um, people being cooperative. Maybe it's a person that you guys know, whether it's a lover or family member. Maybe you guys have to be patient, patient with them, okay? Patient with the people at your job because they're driving you crazy, all right? <laughs> but I do feel like this does have something to do with finances. Here at the bottom of the deck is the full card. Brand new beginnings for a lot of you guys when it comes down to commitments and finances. What is this? Wow, material wealth is everywhere. Do you realize all of these are pinnacles? We have pinnacles here. We have material wealth here. We have celebration here with the three of cups coming together with someone. Again, with the queen of wands. Feeling good, looking good is what I'm saying here. Aquarius, this is really good. So like I said, we we saw before choose wisely, wisely which talks about decision and choices, okay? This could be for multiple reasons, really. It could be for love, it could be for money, it could be for both. 
but this right here lets me know that you guys you're gonna shine bright okay like a diamond <laughs> a lot to celebrate so we're gonna go ahead and get into your reading we're gonna see how this is gonna play a part in your life which we see it is but um man this is amazing read oh my gosh this is amazing your wish coming true here so let's go ahead let's see more for aquarius let's get aquarius wow this is definitely like a dream come true for aquarius aquarius you guys are looking did you guys see that i was literally trying to i just put the card like this and this flew across some of you guys are eyeing someone that you have feelings for, someone that you're thinking about here when it comes down to a love connection. You guys could be spying on each other. Maybe you want to talk to them. Wow, that thing just flopped right all over there. Okay. Love is in your reading now. We saw a lot of we saw a lot of pinnacles and material wealth there. Yeah, I do feel like someone is coming towards you, you guys may have to travel to see them this is also talking about being recognized getting attention from you know it could be personal and with um business whoa okay let's get some more for aquarius yeah here you guys may be waiting for something though that's why i say you could be at a distance because you guys are watching someone someone is watching you maybe waiting for this connection there is going to be communication here with the page of wands you may know them or you may be just now getting to know them that type of thing but there is there's love connection in this reading i love it money and finances i mean money and love wow and this is your this is literally your karma this is just someone wants to talk to you yeah maybe you may have cut someone off in the past this also talks about saying you're speaking your truth um, and not blunt. Sometimes it could be blunt, but being very direct about speaking your truth and what you want because you understand what, what has been unfair to you and you're not about that life anymore. You're about fairness, okay, in connections and in business. Oh, wow. You guys before have been defeated when it comes came down to with to love connections again we're talking about things that have been unfair to you but there's going to be someone that's going to come in your life that's going to be very loyal and committal see that cycle before that you guys have been dealing with that's over that's completed now for some of you this person in the past feel like this is unfinished business and they're coming back in okay oh wow here with the ten of cups so happiness love and victory with the ace of swords this reading is amazing you guys have been through a lot but it's really changing up for you guys let's go ahead we're going to clarify that page of swords for aquarius let's clarify the page of swords this is amazing wow page of swords amazing amazing read oh yeah so I do feel like this is going to be some type of conversation. Um, like I said, it could be work. It could be a person. There is something happening here. We got the judgment and the tower. This is going to be a breakthrough for you for more than one reason. Nine of cups coming out with the two of cups. Happiness, your wish fulfilled. Remember we saw that hope, that star card. We also had this. Some of you guys may have more than one person. That could be it too. Or decisions when it comes down to more than one financial path. Let's get the, the chariot. Chariot. High priestess. This is moving into the unknown. Some of you guys know that you're just moving forward and there's some fear there because you don't really know, right? Um... And so you're, you know, you're moving forward. You're like, I don't know. I'm just going to take, we saw that full card at the bottom of the deck. This really is taking a leap of faith in your future when it comes down to love and career. Okay. But um, yeah, you, you have to move forward. Why? Because you've been disappointed before and you're trying to get out of this sad energy. Let's go ahead. Let's get the three of wands for Aquarius. This is amazing. Okay. These cards are flying everywhere. Sorry. This fell on the floor. One second, guys. 
Oh, wow. Here. Some of you guys are waiting on maybe an earth sign. We had it twice. We got the king and queen of pentacles here. This is kind of a, um, well, nah, this, this is a love reading. This is a soulmate type of energy. Someone that you guys are very going to be equally matched to. Someone who's going to be just as loyal. You may not even know this person, truly. You may not even know this person. But someone that, that you may have memories about for some and for others, someone who's going to be just as loyal as you. That's who you're waiting for. Let's get the justice card. Justice clarifying justice. This is karma all the way. Kar karmic justice. Yes. I love it. Let's go ahead. Let's get the five of swords. Someone loves you. Or you're in love with someone, and I, and, and or, or this has something to do with a defeated attitude. Love is coming into your life. You know, the King of Cups don't open up. So maybe this person that was acting silly before is very much in your energy that they have feelings for you. They're just not opening up. There is a whole lot of love. But this is also being defeated when it comes down to a love connection. You, you have it coming in. You, you definitely have it coming in here. Okay, I see it. What is this? Ace of Pentacles. Whoa. Money is going to be amazing. And there is going to be a long-term committed relationship here. And it's going to come pretty quickly here with the Knight of Swords. These cards are literally falling out of my hands. I'm not, I'm barely shuffling and they're falling out of my hands. It did it with this too. So you guys are very anxious for this change. You need it. You need it, Aquarius. You're anxious for this change. You can't take it anymore. Let's get the Ten of Cups. Cards are falling everywhere. Wow. Look at this. You got love coming in here. Your whole reading is amazing. Your read is amazing. Here is the King of Pentacles right up under the Queen of Pentacles. Just in case you guys didn't know, this is not just about money. This really is about an energetic match. Here, this is what's coming towards you with the Chariot card. And I also see that this is saying let go of, you know, your prior... Um, mentalities or, or the past please let that go let that pain and hurt go because you got a beautiful new beginning here you're going to feel so happy and so loved and victor you have the success and victory energy here with the uh, fulfillment and wishes this reading is i mean amazing and i know this could be hard for you guys because you have been looking at the dark at the shadow side of yourself for so long because of all this pain you've been, you've been experiencing but this is everything that you've ever wanted. And this is why the star card and the wish fulfillment came out. And the wish fulfillment with the nine of cups is coming out because you're going to get it. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading, Aquarius, and you guys deserve it. So thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel again. And this is also to let you guys know I am doing new services. All of the services are listed. Oh, not all, but information is over there in the community section. And I also want to let you guys know some of you guys were thinking that I was not going to be posting on YouTube. That is totally not true. I, I post every other day. So it, I give time to YouTube and also for those people who want, you know, help if they want these readings. So, but I just want to put that out there. But this is what I have for you. It is such an amazing reading. I'm so happy for you. And please look forward to this beautiful new beginning. All right, Aquarius. Bye, guys.